Hello and welcome to the Mad Leprechaun. My name is Mert Walsh. I'm at Roadskin Tunbridge Wells, Kent. I'm here to find out more about them and their products. If that's something that interests you, please join me after the intro. <laughs> I'm with uh, Ian and Mark yep. Correct. from Roadskin because it says on their t-shirts. <laughs> Thanks ever so much guys for your time today and um, now we'll have a bit of fun. I've got a cup of coffee and you haven't. What's wrong with this That's because we just literally <laughs> had finished our, our lunch only because we were we way laid downstairs with customers, orders, a stock take which we did first thing this morning. Right. So yeah, loads and loads of stuff. Fabulous. Um, History. What led to the creation of Roadskin? Over to you, Wizard. Wow. Roadskin, Roadskin. Basically, it started way, way, way ago, about 20 years ago, with Dragon Jeans. Right. So Dragon Jeans were the first people that did Kevlar line jeans. Right. Full stop. End the game. They had a worldwide patent on Kevlar line jeans. And me, as a guy that's always worn just normal jeans and a leather jacket going way, way back to the 70s, and falling off and injuring myself quite a lot. You know, when I found out about Kevlar lime jeans, it's like, oh great, because I'm not really into wearing leather on the road, particularly. I wear leather on racetrack, obviously. Yep. But you know, for general road riding, for going to the pub, for cruising down to the coast or whatever, yep. I just find it hot and heavy of going to a bike show, walking around a bike show with your leather jacket and your crash show and everything else, a nightmare. So for me, I've always will be much more casual sort of bike rider, but the advent of Kevlar lime jeans was just brilliant to me, it's magic. So what happened was I became the first well, not strictly true. The first real distributor, shall we say, of Kevlar jeans in the UK. Right. Which we Dragon Jeans, which I did for 10 or 12 years. So now I still call my denim jeans that I wear on my bike Dragon, Dragon Jeans. And same they're not. Hoover, isn't it? Yeah. Same it's a bit Hoover, like Hoover. Exactly right, the same okay. Thing. Now, that's a so Hoover, strictly speaking, they're not, mine aren't Dragon Jeans. So you've just. No. Yeah. yeah. So Dragon okay. Jeans actually are still around. Sadly, Grant McIntosh, the owner of Dragon Jeans, died about six months ago. Oh, okay. But anyway, he was, it's an Australian company. It was actually an American company. A guy called um, Hal, I don't know what's his name, it's Hal someone or other, did Dragon Jeans in America. Right. That's where it first started out yeah. in North America. Grant McIntosh, an Australian guy, happened to meet Hal at a trade show somewhere, liked the products and basically did a deal with him where he could do the rest of the world for Dragon Jeans. Right. And then I was the UK distributor of Dragon Jeans. Right. And it was just brilliant. Where did the name Roadskin come from? Well, I would like to say How much that alcohol I was thought of it, but it wasn't actually me. It was a guy called Aid was the original start of Roadskin when I was doing Dragon Jeans because he, he, he loved the product a lot and he came up to me one day and said, I'm going to copy these. Is that okay with you? <laughs> I was like, well, I can't stop you. So off he went and copied it. I've known him for a long, long time. And unfortunately, it's one of those situations where, shall we just say, life got a little bit difficult for Aid. Right. And he had a great idea great name but didn't really build the company very much right and um happened to phone me up one day i was chatting to him about something and he was saying he was down in the dumps and fed up so i basically took it over for him oh fantastic so i'd like to claim it was my idea originally yes. but it wasn't just what? just a quick i know these days if i say it was someone will pick me up on it just it a quickie though what ian neglected to mention because he's went over that 20 years that the dragon jeans did have a worldwide pattern on a knitted kevlar yeah right knitted kevlar was a specific um, Kevlar looks um, like flannel. If you look at right. everything now, it's woven. A lot of it's woven Kevlar. That's right. how a lot of companies got into the jean market by basically going with woven Kevlar, not knitted Kevlar, because that was the patent on knitted Kevlar. Right. So that's why uh, you see all the bigger companies, right. like well, I say, bigger companies, but every other company virtually. Everyone does woven Thomas, Kevlar. You In know, fact, this day I don't think anybody does knitted, knitted Kevlar. No. But actually, fun enough, it's Frank Thomas that broke that patent because they went to court, Grant McIntosh took Frank Commerce to court because they copied his jeans. Right. They went to court and they broke the patent by using the word uh, woven Kevlar instead of knitted Kevlar. That broke the patent. As soon as that happened, everybody wow. started, started doing started Kevlar it. jeans wow. and yeah. that's what happened. How long has Roadskin been trading? Roadskin's been chain, trading since inception, about 10 years, somewhere around there. Okay. So with us, it's been about... You're getting the hang of it then. Five yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. We've, we've, had it, five we've had years? it for about four or five years, basically. And we bought it from a company that just had one pair of jeans and one hoodie 
to the company you see now, which has a larger range. Two pairs of jeans. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> uh, which has a much larger range um, uh, and appeals to a much broader audience. Basically, right. from scooterists through to chopper riders and every other genre yeah. of motorcycling in between, basically, because we d we wanted to make jeans that you could wear on and off the bike, so you didn't have to keep changing. You come to work and have to change yeah. or go out, and you think, oh, crumbs, I'm going to look like a right goon in the restaurant. I, I, I think e every biker or anybody that slings their leg over a scooter, Harley adventure bike or whatever should have one in their wardrobe. And then yeah. when they, you know, whether, I mean, I, we can all use them for different reasons. I wear all of the stuff that I stand up in on a tour, motorway stuff, but then if I want to go into a city and do a wander around, I wear them. Yeah, the restaurants. Yeah, absolutely. The thing is, I think the thing where we took road skin to a different level from where Aid was really is that Mark and I have been riding bikes since we were 13, 14. Yeah, yeah. We used to run a courier company together in London 30 odd years ago, so we've right. been there, done it, we've put in loads and loads of miles. But the difference is that we understand what we want. Um, we understand what we want out of a pair of jeans. And because we ride bikes all the time, we designed that jean like that. So we knew that the original jeans of Roadskin jeans were quite a harsh jean, quite a tough jean. Right. Protective, but not very comfortable. So it's sort of jean that you'd wear if you're going on a ride, but if you're going to work and you wore it, when you got to work, you'd take it off. Right. So then we found some new materials to use in it, which still had the protection, but actually became more comfortable. We put a bit of bounce into the jeans, Lycra. Yeah, which um, is always handy when you get to a certain It's great, age. as you're getting fatter now, we can go on the bike, it's more comfortable. And they're genuine, I'm, I'm wearing them now. I mean, I'm wearing them in the office now, and I wear them all day long. It doesn't worry me. I had a guy pop around to uh, see me at my house with a cup of coffee, um, for a completely different reason, uh, recently. And he's one of Bruce's um, clan, yeah, and um, and he said he wears your jeans all of the time. Yeah, on his motorbike we do, and not. So you know, we exactly do. what you just said. Oh, yeah, I, I wear my, when when I'm riding to work, I'll put my jeans on, I wear them all day, I work it all day, and then go home in them because <coughs> they are just easy to wear. That's the whole reason we design and they're yeah. marginally heavier than normal jeans. But the whole reason is that you can jump on your bike without without going for a load of fat. Yeah. You know, which is why, and the jeans that he's mentioning And I'd like to say we look in them as well, but that's arguable. <laughs> yeah, the jeans he's mentioning there are, 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 are relatively yeah, these new. Ones here. Basically, they're slightly different to, 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 to our jeans, but I'm sure he'll go into that. They're oh, slightly right. different to our existing Tyrannus Paranoid Xs. Um, because they were a, more of a, a washed out look, a bleached look. Right. And he'll, I'm sure he'll explain that as time goes on. How many different products do Roadskin produce? So, blimey. He's got shit, he's asked me that one. Okay. Well, no, <laughs> Three, if you're looking four, at it, we, five, we produce six, jeans ten. and jackets, yeah. and then all those jeans and jackets use subdivisions of Tyrannus, Paranoid X, Cargos, Brontes, ladies jeans specifically, ladies Tyrannus Fine. specifically designed for ladies. Yep. So, you know, high-waisted, nicer fitted fitted jeans. Yep. City jeans, yeah, which we don't really talk jeans. about. Yep. Cargo pants. And then we got these, which is Acterians, which are a new one, new new line coming out. And uh, on all of those products, like I was going to say, how many different styles? So, you, and you're quoting the, the different styles. Yeah, they're, they're, they're the different styles. All the all the you know the the the, the leg 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 appearance of the jeans are virtually all straight leg apart from the cargos because obviously cargos are looser on you. Yeah. You know. The thing is, though, if I can interrupt. Carry on. On the old style thing, it's difficult on style because really, like the cargo pants, for me, cargo pants are quite old fashioned. You want them to be quite baggy, quite loose fit. Yeah. Problem with that is, if you make them too loose and the arm's in place, if you have a, if you have an accident, you don't slide down the road, whatever we say, you roll and you tumble. And what yep. can happen is the arm can get knocked out of place. Yep. So you sort of have to be really careful in that that's why we don't do that many baggy fit jeans, although we do do a relaxed yeah. jean. Um, we do do relaxed jeans, skinny jeans, regular fit jeans. So we do different styles of jeans, but we tend to put safety first. So yeah. and yeah. for the looser, you know, the looser the fit jeans, we actually have got a leg sleeve that we're bringing out which is an armoured leg sleeve, which basically the armour sits in it, you pull it up your leg, you put, make sure the armour sits where you want it to sit, then you pull your jeans over. And then get as bags as you want. Yeah, and the other, so, so as well as for the baggier jean, it also counted for the guys that are shorter leg length than or we longer provide. as well. Because we, we, we only do up to size 30, and we yeah, do get a lot of guys that We spoke shorter. about this at the show, and I'm gonna specifically ask you to Elaborate expand on that, on that in a minute. Cool. Yeah. Um, where are your products manufactured? 
So all the design is done here on this very table. <laughs> <laughs> Hence all this stuff behind us. So we do design, we get them, we get the original samples made up here. Um, we do all the testing here in the UK, but sadly, when we actually get them made in bulk, they go to Asia to get made. There's nothing right. to do about it. It's a question we get asked a lot about in the, at shows when we when we go to shows. Yeah. And the simple fact is, if we were to get them made in the UK, and we have looked, we had a factory in Wales that's going to make them for us. Right. If we had a factory here that's going to get them made, the basically the manufacturing costs in the UK is equivalent to our current retail price. So realistically, and I always say to guys at shows, say, look, I'm sorry, they are made in Asia. No, yeah. We don't want to make them in Asia. We want to make them in the UK. Yeah. But it's just virtually impossible yeah and fun enough i asked our friend kate at hideout about making jeans for us right and um she said to me without going into massive you know we didn't go into specs and everything uh, she said ballpark figure off the top of your head it's going to cost you even if you buy in bulk it's going to cost you 150 160 quid for a pair of jeans wow so by the time you've got that and then you put your margin on it and then the good old vat on it you know you're ending up 300 pound pair of jeans yeah. and people whatever we say about wanting to be yeah. you know good old british britain yeah people yeah, don't but pay no, regardless of how much they they are safe and appropriate to wear on a motorbike if people mm. can't afford to wear them well that was no, the whole thing exactly and that was our, our, our resource behind this is to make the best pair best garments you can get yep. with the highest uh, uh, safety rating you can get yeah. at an affordable price. That's why we don't sell them and in shops. And comfortable. Yeah, but that's why we don't sell well, them in shops. Got to get onto that one as okay. well. <laughs> no, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's I, cool. don't, I don't like doing that in the middle of a chat yeah, because yeah, otherwise yeah. it puts people off. Yeah. No, that's fine. Twist them, but, I am, but I am going to get cool. onto it. Yeah. So going back to the English thing, we basically, we do, um, we are getting as many products as we can actually made in the UK. So our new belts, for instance, are made in the UK. The fact they're co costing us double the price to get them made in the UK, right. we're still doing it. We, we haven't put the price up. We've well. done. We just we've done it ourselves because we want to try and put as much back in the UK as we can. And right. we do t-shirts. We're looking at hoodies, but basically it's the smaller items, you know. Right. Kate mentioned. Now that we mentioned Kate, because uh, I reached out I to Kate, Kate this morning. She's a wonderful woman. Um, about sustainability and the the ethics of where you get them made. Um, yeah, so the factories we use in Asia, they actually have to be certified, so they don't use child labour. Right. You know, they're not slave labour, they're not working 24 hours a day, seven days a week for a tin of peanuts or whatever. Yeah. So at the end of the day, we do as much as we can. Ultimately, when it comes to sustainability and ethics and all the rest of it and the green issues, you know, it's a very sticky... Uh, yeah, it's a difficult it's one. A difficult because, one because, because, you know, we got stuff made you know, in Asia, it's shipped here, but then... Well, shipped here is occurring, <coughs> as, as it, um, um, it's not really green. It, flying's even worse than nearly green. But as you mentioned earlier, Mert, we're all riding motorcycles that aren't green. I only found out the other day, this is a bone of contention with me, that <laughs> I have to pay £12.50 ULES charge for my motorbike to ride within the M25 in London, any London borough. I thought that, that is an absolute rip-off. Can't don't, believe don't, it. Don't, don't start. Get me Calm down. Don't get started. Yeah. Well, um, the reason why we're restricted with sizes is, is is actually down to seat approval. Yeah. So if we send off a pair of jeans at the original inception of that testing, yeah. we'll send them three, four pairs of jeans or whatever they need for the seam, for the burst test, for the abrasion test, and everything else. Then we have to say what size jeans we're going to make and which different leg lengths we're going to make. Right. So we chose a range which we felt would cover everyone, which was 28 to 46, so 28 inch waist to 46 inch waist. That's a big range. That is However, a big range. we are <laughs> we're actually getting asked for bigger jeans than that. Right. Um, so to do it, it's just not a simple thing, unfortunately. You actually have to go back to the C approval guys and say, right, we want to add 48, 50, 52, 54, or whatever waist and they sometimes will ask to be tested again, sometimes they just ask to see a product, so it needs to be more, but unfortunately it costs it's money. Cost. Every it's time cost. we go Everything back to there, if we, had, if we added 4XL gloves and 3XL gloves to our glove range, because yes. we had guys with big hands, that, so costs, us, gloves as well. yeah, yeah. that costs us 800 quid to get the sizes from 2XL, just to add 3XL So it's the same glove, it's yeah. just a different size, Absolutely. Yeah. you have to get it type of, yeah. 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 wow. Don't, don't even get me started, we did a different colour, to change colours, they also have to have another test, an Oculus test, to check that the leather is whatever, not going to kill people, give them rashes or whatever. Wow. Which I sort of understand, yeah. that's fair enough, but again, it's another so 500 pounds. Exactly the same bill. size, different colour, yeah. you have to get it yeah. approved. Yeah. Wow. So that's the issue. So, What sets Roadskin apart? 
I would say basically what sets Road to Skin apart is that we design our own stuff. So we make, I know you could say that, the big boys design their own stuff, of course they do, they've got a design studio. What I'm saying is that Mark and I design this stuff, we yeah. ride bikes all the time, you know, and that's, that's the difference. That is the So we difference. do, the only thing we have learned is, so with the first designs we did, I'll be honest, weren't brilliant because we knew what we wanted in comfort, protection, everything else. So we knew what we wanted practically to ride a bike. Yeah. But of course, <laughs> we can't design yeah. stuff, can we? So well, we've since got a lady in called Sue Me who basically does he, we'll give her the base product of what we want. She interprets what you Sue me. Tell her. Yeah, yeah, she's just up the road. She comes in. She used to work for Barber. She also did and her apprenticeship with Vivian Westwood, Westwood. Oh, so okay. she knows what she's doing. So yep. she will say, "Oh, yeah, okay, change that. You need to change that. That'll just look better if you're doing this." So I think what sets Road Skin apart is that we do all. This, you know, we test the well, stuff now. I mean, these jeans I'm wearing we now are pre-production jeans. So I've been wearing because Sue me told me you got to wear them. Okay, fine. So I've been okay. wearing them, washing them, riding them on bikes, jumping up and down in them, doing everything in them. Yeah. And she basically says, trash them. Right. So we absolutely trash them. Then when we've done all that, if we're happy and we're comfortable, we might make a few changes to them. But if we're happy and we're comfortable, we put into production. I think right. that's the difference. It's See, not just a money-making thing. Um, what about the lining that you guys mentioned? Yeah, See, we've got that's, a sheer lining. Yeah, within, which yeah, I don't so think is, in, is that in every... No, not necessarily, so it's an interesting no. thing. So again, what happened, we, Mark and I love doing motorcycle shows, yeah? We love doing motorcycle shows because we like meeting other riders yep. and we like ch chatting away. <laughs> As my wife says, Especially we talk you. too much. But the fact is that when you're talking to other riders, even though we think we know everything, obviously we don't. So you're talking to another rider such as yourself about something and somebody always brings up something. And it's always interesting because if you take on board what those riders are saying, then we do make adjustments to things to our range, don't we? Our current range. Absolutely. We've had quite a few. You can, you can where, introduce it into yeah, the Yeah, because design. we didn't, we didn't think about it. Like, God, why don't we think of that? Of course, it's a brilliant idea. Yeah. I give you a funny one with ladies. So we talk about a lady's jacket and the lady said to me, she said, and I wouldn't have thought of this for obvious reasons. She said, yeah, you should really you need to make sure that your zips go up as well as down. I'm like, why would you want to do that? Do you know why? Do you want to go up as well as down? No. Do you know why? I haven't got a scooby doo Well, here we go, I'll tell you. And I was probably there when she said it. <laughs> and she said to me, well, she said, without being too uh, basic, she said, if you're a biker, a female motorcyclist, and you want to go to the loo, if you've got to take your top off down as well, you have to get undressed to take everything off to undo your trousers and stuff to get your trousers off. Oh, yeah, she basically yeah, says, if you just sense, do a zip yeah. upwards like this, so you don't have to get your neck warmers off, you can even leave a crash helmet on, okay. like you can that, basically zip do, like yeah, that, yeah, undo yeah, yourself that and that, yeah, which of course, boys don't have that problem. Oh, yeah. So it's just simple, I know it's a stupid thing, no, but, it, but because yeah. of that we think, okay, fine. Because we are me. trying, you know, again, which with what Ian was saying there about our designer, you know, she has managed to change our designs from our original ladies to Anna's jeans, where we probably had a 20% success rate in, in fitting oh, ladies wow. to an 80% success rate now. Because right. girls are, yeah, way. men, blokes are rectangles and squares, fairly easy to sort out. Right. Uh, ladies are very curvaceous and, and it just, you know, that's why you need to have a proper designer that actually knows where the where the nips and tucks and everything. But again, else but that comes go. back as well, Mark, you know. doesn't it? To when we when we talk at shows to people, we had a guy sent to us and we were talking about a, a girl was trying the pair of jeans. She's like, oh, struggling a bit with them, and we're saying, and this guy said to us, said he said he was a, a life. He he taught people to do life drawings, in other words, naked people. Right. And he said, what you got to get in your head is you just got to think of blokes in terms of, like Mark said, triangles, squares, squares and ladies, rectangles. you've got to think in terms of round circles. Yeah, yeah. He said, as soon as you start thinking like that, your designs will change. And we said, we laughed to Sue me about that. And she said, that's right. And from there, we started changing everything. <laughs> yeah, she's we? managed to, you know, and now we get yeah, about 80% of the ladies going. jeans now fit, whereas before 20% fitted. Wow. So it's what you say when you say about what what is what makes road skin different yeah. i guess is just that we just listen to people and we don't just assume that what we make's right you know we do make mistakes yeah, yeah. listen to people improve it move on yeah absolutely you asked him about lining yeah lining which which uh, <coughs> impressed me because uh, i have got a pair of denim style jeans for riding on a motorbike and and mine don't have what you are yeah this, line. Your this lining basically um, came about again from another um it came back from another show. And we had a, uh, it was the London XL show about probably, I would say, eight years ago, somewhere around there. And, um, no, five years ago, I'm talking about eight years ago. Anyway, um, so basically, we had a guy came on the stand, he was chatting away and he was looking at the jeans and he said, what do you do about shin skin shear. shear? And I'm like, sorry, skin shear, what are you talking about? He said, oh, he said, well, I'm a, I'm a surgeon at King's College, just up, you know, on the 
big London hospitals. He said, we deal with loads of motorcycle accidents. And he says, what happens is when you hit the deck, the easy way to explain this is like a friend of Scooter Mag said, it's like when a plane lands, yeah? When a plane lands, it's doing whatever they're doing when they land, 100 and something miles an hour. The tires, of course, are not turning around. Stationary, yeah. Stationary, yeah. So when it hits the ground, you get that screech and you get the smoke off the tires. Yeah. That's because the actual tire has to catch up the speed of the tarmac. So more or less the same, very simple terms, but more or less the same thing happens with a motorcycle accident. Hit the deck, yeah. you're going from effectively, you're hitting it from zero to bang, off it goes. And what can happen is the gene material itself, when you squish into the ground on the first impact, the gene material itself can actually tug and shear your skin like that. Right. And it actually shears your skin off. He said, by putting a simple line in like that, yeah. that'll stop it happening. A bit so like that Teflon, it, just moves like that and that's all it is. That material is inside of most leathers and inside of what I'm wearing. So the fact that it's inside there. Ah, yeah, but that's usually for different reasons. So the reason why I put it in leathers ah, okay. and textiles, I'm not 100% sure, because obviously we don't make leather and textiles, but as far as I'm aware, it's more to do with cooling, which that's can wear the sweat. Oh, okay. So well. it's, it's not with jeans, because jeans obviously lining. cotton, ah, cotton wicks right. wear the sweat anyway, so right. it's not as big a problem, right. which is why they don't put it into jeans. Yeah. But actually we put it into our jeans, so for the shins, for the skin shear, yeah. But also, we found out from a customer we had in Texas, which is obviously really hot. He says they're great, they're really cool as well, because as uh, an added bonus, which right. we didn't design into it, yeah. as an added bonus, helps wick away sweat as well and keep the old coolness. The only ones so that's the reason that we, we produce it. that don't have the, the shear liner are our Paranoid Xs, basically. Cause I the love paranoid the names. Xs, Oh, yeah, the Paranoid <laughs> Xs are uh, well, uh, superseded our Paranoid Gs, and the reason they haven't got a shear liner is because they've got a full layer of black Kevlar. So it's at the outer of the Paranoid X is, is the uh, Tyrannus Elite gene. Right. So you've already got a AAA rated gene, yeah. and then we put another full lining of black Kevlar on the inside. And that basically also acts as that sh skin, like that skin. sheer liner. It allows for that fractional movement of the right. skin, God forbid, if you were to take a tumble. Um, but they are more um, our winter gene, cold weather climate, Nordic countries, Scottish summers, those types of things. Right. Yeah, they are. Scottish, <laughs> Scottish summers. summers, you know. We do sell yeah, yeah, a lot of Scotland. We do, we do very well in Scotland. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Scotland. Yeah, so that's the reason why we have that in there. So it's just about skin shear. And again, goes back to what we're saying. Personal protection. Listen to people, you yeah. know, listen to what people have got to say and don't assume you know everything. Um, safety rating, we touched on that at the moment yeah. ago. I'm yeah. sorry. Triple A, triple mm. A, the Tyrannus Elite, a triple A. What is the top? Triple A. There you go. Triple A, if you, if you could well, find. Actually. What? There is a, there is the old standard as well, an old standard. But that, I thought that's all finished. Well, it's no, it's still there. Now. No, I it's thought still I there. read something from is John it? the It's still other there because the police use it. So the police will go to the old standard. Oh, uh, okay. So basically the police go to the old standard, which is why people at Hideout, uh, BKS Leathers, I believe, will still make the old standard. Right. So people like police will still use it. So basically the, there was an original non-compulsory standard, which was, I can't remember, Balls or Andrew would know, but anyway up here somewhere yeah right and then what they decided was that they were then going to uh actually drilled in by france france started this whole thing they wanted this um levels of protection so it was easy for customers to walk into shop and understand what level of protection they were getting so what they okay. introduced was they introduced three new levels which was a double a and triple a right all three of those even the top triple a is underneath the highest standard of the old standard Oh, wow. And the reason for that is because basically when they went to the manufacturers and said, can you make it to this standard, they all said no. It's too difficult, too expensive to make. Wow. So they lowered the standard, which is slightly underneath AAA, uh, the old standard, slightly above AAA, and they go AAA, AA, and A. But this standard thing, you have to be very careful with it. It's, it's a real bone of contention to us. And one of the things that most people ask when they walk into, or when they come to the shows or into the shop here, they go, what's your slide time? What's your slide time? And it's like, really? Yeah, okay, what's slide time? Or X, Y, Z, do this many slide time. You know, to be honest, the slide time is an absolute, it's just, it's a thing that the media have cottoned onto just to promote things. And you see, we were at the French show, weren't we, recently? Yeah. And they were saying, oh, 120 kilometers slide time. And like, what? But, it's but just complete it's rubbish. Not, they're not allowed to actually stay here. Remember, we did speak to various people in the know, and, because we did Well, they are allowed to state then, it, but it could leave you open to, litigation right so if you said to someone my jeans would do 120 kilometers an hour 80 miles an hour yeah and it doesn't do that and they hurt themselves and they were only doing 60 miles an hour theoretically you'd be open to litigation so that's yeah. the technical reason why we don't do it but the practical reason is 
pure and simple is that they don't take into account when they do the A, AA and AAA, they don't take into account road surface and they don't take right. into account the weight of the person and they don't take into account weather conditions. So you've got three different variables there. Yeah, and we know for a fact that we did on our website, you look, if you look at it, you see there's a drag test that we do behind a couple of Harley Davidsons. Yeah. Well, one of those people behind that bike is me. I weigh 16 stone. <clears throat> He says, breathing in. Yeah. Hence the reason for the bouncy trousers. He and did more weigh 16 stone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch it, you. And Stu downstairs in the warehouse weighs 13 stone. Now, on the same day, same weather conditions, same speed, at the same time, in the same jeans, he could do the same run three times and I could do it twice before it wore out. Oh, wow. That much difference in three stone. Right. So it's... it's yeah, so you imagine you know, something like mad. shell grip yeah. and doing just 40 mile an hour. Yeah, totally. You know, that's the thing. That's why it really is. And yeah. you also see a load of... We've seen so many of them. People are doing these crash tests on, you know, for jeans or leathers or whatever. Invariably, the road's wet as well. Yeah. You know, so that makes a huge difference as well. You're totally. just going to pick up and slide, you know. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. it's so... It's in the real world. It's so really it doesn't really prove anything i guess yeah. it you know all we it can say yeah, is it gives the us triple idea. a yeah, yeah. is better than yeah, single and a that's is how better, you gotta you know. look at it triple a i know yeah. what Ian was saying about the there, there was an old yeah but nobody uses that effectively apart from <laughs> the leather people well you're, you're sitting here now with with garment manufacturers triple a double a single a yeah. that is where it sits right we we're, we are aspiring to get all of our gear to a triple a standard yeah. We're getting there. We're not there yet. We know that. We've got some double A stuff, but we are aspiring to get to everything to a triple A standard right. um, because we that's what we would like so that everything we sell is the best that we possibly can do. Double yeah. A is still very good, um, but we just think in ourselves we need to keep pushing because well, we want to we get the, the best garments uh, right. out there. This is why we did our new Paranoid team because what we're aiming for is this is to go to the old, now defunct yeah. standard, which is way up here as well. Right. So if we can achieve that this gene, then we say, this Dean will do this, and it's it's pretty damn near it to be honest. If there was such a thing as four A's, then this Dean would pass it, you know. Oh right, so that surpasses, oh, yeah, yeah, surpasses right. this yeah. because of so that actually, extra layer of Kevlar. Yeah, you know this this Dean right. here has got well this Dean here, the outer shell, as Mark said, is the same denim we use for the Tyrannis. So you won't be an ironic when you named it the Paranoid. The Paranoid. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. sorry, I shouldn't laugh. But this denim like, why here, is he laughing? But this <laughs> denim here is a triple A rated denim, right. as is this Tyrannis, yeah. Yeah. The Kevlar lining that we use in it is a double A Kevlar lining ah, on its own. Right. I know it doesn't work like that, but yeah. if you join them both together, you've got what's five A's? Five A's. Five A's. Five you've got a's. five you, you A's, didn't A's even worth get them of stuff. No, I didn't get any. You didn't even get that school five okay, A's. Okay, okay, don't love it. Very funny. <laughs> uh, yes. So that's where we are with our, with our stands, you know. The other thing they don't take into account out of interest is the armour as well. So when they do these tests, if we send something off, yes, we say, you know, we've got our armor, which is level two armor. You get level one and level two armor. Yeah. And again, this is to us a real, I just don't understand it, but anyway, you get level one, level two armor, level two being the better armor. Right. With jeans, you can get AAA rated jeans, so the highest current rating of jeans. Yeah. With level one armor. Why would you bother doing that? Yeah. So to us, we only ever use level two armor. So but when they test it, they don't test it with the armor in. Do they all of your jeans have armored pocket in them then? Yeah. yeah. All yeah, the jeans have armor something pockets. I was thinking when I was coming down. Because yeah, mine, that I've got at home, don't. No. So there's yeah, no knees, no... All of our jeans have two pockets in each knee, one high, one low. So depending on how okay. you, what bike you ride, how yep. you ride it, you can put the armor in yep. so that it's in the right position yep. for you to ride in and, and be safe. Hip armor as well, all comes as standard. Right. We don't do, it's the same with our jackets. They all come with back armor, shoulder armor, elbow armor. And level we don't, two back armor. Yeah, and we don't do this thing, and we know a lot of people do, but we don't, whereby we'll give you the shoulder and the elbow, but you'll have to buy the, so the jacket's X, Y, Z, and then you've got to spend another 50 quid on a piece of back oh, armor. Okay. You know, we, we that's, again, going back to our that's ethos, of giving you the best you can right. at the most affordable price. Right. And that's why we do that. Yeah, so all our so products take that jacket and with go. the best armor that you can get on the market right. at the moment. In fact, fun enough, we're going to move, we're looking at moving or adding to this new armor here as well, which is lovely, it's really nice. We've just been to, um, these guys, it's a London company it's a British called brand. Uh, Rion, British brand, going okay. back to what we were saying about trying to do everything British. Yeah. Um, so it's a British brand and this stuff is just brilliant. It, we were, I, I can't even begin to tell you how complicated their testing was for this. Really? And it really yeah. makes you realise, yeah, they take into account everything. So of course it can be all different angles. Horizontal, lateral. Where you're going to get but, hit. Yeah. And actually these bits fold over like that to protect you. And wow. It's absolutely unbelievable stuff. Unfortunately, it's about four times more expensive than this stuff, but for us it's, it's not about price, it's about um, 
safety, you know. Yeah. And that's all level so two. So we're going on, that is level two armor. Wow. And compare it to that, that's level two armor as well, but right. thinner, yeah. lighter, we yeah, cooler. That, that seems to be more cooler and seems to be more flexible Yeah, as well. it's breathable, you know, it's very flexible. And if it's um, gone inside a pair of... Yeah, you want to be able to move around in them. Where do you sell? Where do, do we sell? Or do you sell to we other retailers? No, we don't sell to retailers. Well, the, re the reason we can keep the price to where it sits, which again we think is very competitive, is because we basically sell online at motorcycle shows yep. and from our shop downstairs in Tunbridge Wells. Right. Not that Tunbridge Wells is downstairs, but a shop below us here is in Tunbridge Wells and it's downstairs. So um, if I was the type of person to think, oh, I'm a bit long on the body, I'm a bit short on the leg, or yeah. you're a, a girl well, or whatever. If people um, read what we say on our website, what we say is you basically take your favorite jeans that you've got at home at the moment, be right. they Mark Spence, Levi's or whatever, yeah. normal jeans that you wear that you're happy with, you're comfortable with, line them on the table and measure the waist. Yeah. Don't believe what it says. Measure yeah, the waist yeah, yeah, in inches and then that is the size that you buy yeah. from us. Yeah. So, so if we make our jeans exactly what we say. What I was going to say is because I, I obviously met you guys at the show, is there a list of events? Do you put events yeah, on your... Yeah, it's on our website. It's on our website. We've recently So if we well. wanted to come and try, if we yeah. couldn't get to Kent, let's Absolutely. say... Absolutely. Just we're come going and to see us at the show. XL or... Yeah, cool. come and we see get us at the show. Fun enough, because our Jess, who was just here a minute ago, he does all our... Uh, just, just checks out everything online, this, that and the other. And we are basically way underneath industry standard for returns as well, which is nice. So I think industry which standard is something like 17% or something like that returns. They no. buy the jeans and, and they Nothing. actually do the job. So Assuming for us, that is, that's fantastic. They do what we say, you know, measure their own jeans, the ones they're happy with, and right. then uh, order that size. Yeah. Because if you buy a pair of jeans invariably from, a, um, from the high street, you'll find that basically you measure up differently. Mm than they say because they yeah. want to make you feel better yeah whereas we don't care well no it's just, it, no <laughs> yeah, because, because the size doesn't matter it's all about there's two things and people we say this to people at shows they um, ideally we'd rather not sell you a pair of jeans if you can't fit these two things mm. which is comfort and safety yeah comfort being you can put the jeans on you can move around they're not tight they don't draw on you etc etc yeah. and the safety being the armor sits in the right place because the the safety in the jeans themselves is already in in there it's woven in you've got the triple a abrasion resistancy yeah. but the art the the uh, the armor provides your impact protection yeah. if you haven't got the armor in or it's sitting in the wrong place it's not going to do its job no. so if you were to come to me Mert, and say have you got a pair of jeans in my size i'll say well you're quite a tall guy the longest we do is 34 try them and see what you think yeah. and if they were riding a bit high on you see now i'm i'm i would say i'm a 36 36 yeah. and now that we've mentioned me i will try a pair on mm. and we'll see if they fit what yeah, happens though, so generally speaking as well, is that we do the right leg length. So although people say I'm a 35 leg, yeah. if you actually measure your 35 leg jeans at home, you'll probably find they're 34, 33 and a half or something like that. Right. We, we see it all the time, whereas right. our jeans oh, okay. actually measure as 34. Yeah. So Because you, you, you effectively, you ruled yourself out because you're a 36 leg. Yeah. And we only go to 34 at yeah. this moment in time. Yeah. It's something that we're looking at. And that's going to cost to, another 800 to, yeah, something that we're looking at <laughs> is to increase the leg length. Because yeah. we do get a lot of people ask. You know, I say a lot of people. You remember the people that ask, put it yeah. that way. It's not an incessant, you know, with 30, our size range of 30, 32, 34 works. But we do get people saying, oh, I'm a 36. And you look at them and think, I mean, short leg ones as well, don't we? And we yeah, on yeah, as well, so the short leg ones we can deal with usually with that knee sleeve because that knee sleeve by putting that on means your arm is going to sit in the right place yeah. your hips are your hips they ain't going to change nope. hip arm is going to sit in the right place and then yeah. you just need to get them turned up by a seamstress and just make sure she's aware that it's kevlar you know, it's quite interesting that knee sleeve you're talking about mark because we did for me i do a lot of off-road riding off-road right. riders always wear their armor strapped to your body full stop in the game yep. you don't wear it in your jacket well you might wear stuff if you're adventure bike that doesn't really go off-road that's different but i'm talking enduros motocross <laughs> You wear your armour. He knows how to upset people. <laughs> you wear your armour. Oh, Bruce Smart's not listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To your body, yeah. And um, we wanted to use instead of, so to me, if you've got your arm strapped to the body, it's in the right place. It's always in the right place. It's not going to get knocked out of the way when you fall off. It's going to be in the right place. So we put this, we put a sleeve on with the armour on it. And you know, we couldn't get it passed by the testing people because they said that, I said, but the arm's going to be in the right place all the time. Ah, yes, but we don't know whether or not the customer is going to wear the knee sleeve or not. I said, but they can take the current armour out of the pocket anyway. What's the difference? Yeah. But they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't pass it. Wow. So to me, it's sort of, 
a yeah. bit of work needs to be due to those stands, I think, which they're, which they're aware of and they are trying to do it. Yeah. You know, it's a good starting point, but it needs to be tidied up a bit now. Yeah. So you do jackets and jeans. What I've written down here is do you do stuff for ladies? Now, you did mention that earlier. Yeah, um, we do We do stuff for ladies. At the moment, we do jeans and products, leggings sorry. for ladies. Yeah, we do ladies Tyrannus jeans in blue or black, and we do Bronte leggings. Bronte's a double A and the uh, Tyrannus Blues or Blacks are uh, AAA. Yeah. Um, we are, at the moment, we're just waiting for... Is that, we're that just jacket hanging there is the new jacket? This is the new ladies one. So it's be slightly different material, more curvaceous, just fits better. Right. So it's um, basically styled to a lady. So and that so looks like a hoodie, yeah. but that is... That's a double could, A rated. Could, yeah. do, do they zip to See, this has got, full, um, uh, the, this the, got full Kevlar lining in it. Yep. It's got level two back armor, level two shoulder armor, level two. Um, yeah, these ones will zip, zip to the back, to the jeans. Zip to the jeans. with the zip connector. Oh. At the moment, the men's ones loop. There's a loop at the back that you oh, okay. put through your trick jeans, and that basically means that they so stay on your body and don't ride up when you're bending Again, over. Again, with our products, we do make a. Uh, with the ladies, we make sure that it's higher waisted at the back as well. So our jeans actually go up higher at the back. Right. Um, the normal jeans, basic, because when you're on a bike, you, you don't want you know, the gap. You don't want the gap. No. For, um, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, so we are working on our ladies' range, um, and we, we, you know, we are looking at how we can enhance it and make it better. Um, but as with everything, we've only our pot is our pot, and we have to work accordingly, cut yeah. our cloth accordingly. Yeah. You know. So yeah. So that's where we are with the ladies' stuff. Cool. Now, what I've found, and certainly. Uh, what's come across in our conversation it, every time I've ever gone to get something made for me whether it be a you know whatever product I've ever had made it's getting across to the manufacturer that maybe there's a design flaw there certainly from what you two guys are, are telling me you're listening yeah, we try yeah, to is, we try to listen is, to what people have to say, which is good. You know? I mean, yeah, uh, you're trying to develop, and you are listening. You yeah. know, whether it be yeah. a lady or a doctor with road but that is, skin shear. That yeah. goes yeah. back Absolutely. to what's the difference with road skin yeah. against other brands is because we can listen to what people say us because we get ourselves out in the market. So we are actually talking to people. It's not like a, a, a shop and a rep, and the rep never gets back to talk to the company and talk about their products. Yeah. People talk to us. We listen to what they got to say. We usually write everything down, so then we can put it to the designers and say, well, "What do we think about this? Is it practical? Is it what's the cost implications? Yeah. You know, blah 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 blah." And then because we don't do runs that equate to hundreds of thousands of pairs of jeans, ours are smaller runs. It's easy for us to adapt. Yeah, that's the. And also, if we make a mistake, which we have done with a couple of products over the years, <laughs> do you know we've been them all, much to our accountants' disgust. Just knock them out cheaply on eBay. It's like no, you know, no. they're not. For so we just, we just right. them, you know, so we have done that for as well. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Um, my daughter and I went, were away for the weekend, and and she came up with this question. I just thought I'd mention my daughter, yeah. <laughs> assistant. Can you tell me something about road skin that you don't that other people don't know? Purple. Oh, uh, yeah, that's interesting. What do other people don't know about road skin? Um, is we covered most of it in our okay. chat, haven't we? Well, Let me I'm just sure think about that one for a minute. I'm okay, sure we'll come back to that one. Well, um, you're sure there's something, yeah. Well, fact is, I can tell you something now that a lot of people might not know is we have got a European uh, business. Right. So, Road Skin BV is based in Holland. We've got a warehouse in Holland, yeah. and that deals with all of our uh, sales outside of the UK and North America. So basically anything that is purchased in Europe goes via that part of our company. Right. Um, and that re reason we had to set that up was because of Brexit. Basically, whether yep. you like it or loathe it, we had to work a way around it. And that was our That's way adapted, around it. And, it? Yeah, basically. Yeah. So, so you know, there's that. We've done various European shows this year, which have been very, good, I mean, very successful. And, and the brand has been very well received. Good. In Europe, we're getting. We've got, as I showed you earlier, we got the front page of Motor Rider magazine, which is a Belgian magazine, yeah. with our hoodie and our jeans on when they're testing the MT09 in Lanzarote. Fantastic. So you know that's it's good. It's people like our products. Yeah, yeah. You know, so that's. A, I don't know whether everyone knows that, but there you go. There's a little bit. No, that's wonderful. Little ditty. I tell you another thing that people don't know about as well is sadly, unfortunately, we get quite a lot of letters through saying people have had accidents. So we don't really promote that because. We don't want to be negative about motorcycling because it's not about accidents, it's about having fun and enjoying yourself. Yeah. 
but it is great that we get a lot of people probably as many as once a fortnight we'll get someone sending us a letter earlier, yeah? which is sends a letter saying look I really I had an accident it's really bad you saved it you saved this you saved that right. yeah. so we get a lot of that which is nice and we're really we've we actually got a lot of pride in what we do you know yeah we're really proud of what we do and it's, it's really yeah. exciting and and the only other thing possibly going back to things that people might not know and I know Ian did touch on the subject is that we we remove stuff that we know we we don't feel has worked as well as it has well that doesn't necessarily go into a landfill like we gave an awful lot of our genes, genes that we took to off Ukraine, to Ukraine, we? basically oh, wow. to send them okay. off to Ukraine to help yeah. the help the crisis. Not that our genes are going to do anything, but it will help people. Where you know, in, in one way, shape, or form, right. we had a load of hoodie uh, neck tubes that we were we had, we had them it, it made, and we weren't really happy with them, so we sent them off to a homeless shelter um, because ultimately somebody else can benefit from it. Brilliant, it's, you know, and Absolutely that's brilliant. other things that we try to do outside yeah, yeah. of what you see here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, no, that's, 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 we yeah. don't chat about it. Yeah, yeah. no. Plans for the future. Cool. How long you got? <laughs> oh, how long you got? Well, well, Jez hasn't got much longer. And he's like, oh, you told me this will be finished. No, our plans for the future. Uh, there you go. Got a lot World domination. No. Uh, we've got a lot of exciting <laughs> products coming down the line, which we're really excited about. We've got a, we're working on a more like sort of stuff you're wearing, textile, winter stuff, all round stuff. Yeah. So... That's, we don't, that's coming. That's down yeah. the line. That's a bit further down the line. But in the interim, we've got our new biggest dreams. plan, really. But to be honest, our biggest plan really is to make everything minimum of AAA. Which is that again, is our immediate target. That's what yeah. we're trying to do. A so lot earlier yeah. was this. We reckon we'll get there within about rating. eighteen months, and then we won't sell anything under AAA right. rating, and that's it. Then we know that everything we're selling is the best, and we're also going to make stuff which is back to the old stands as well. So at least then people know if they come to Road Skin. For getting star comfort or anything else if you just look at protection yeah they have the best available right and that's our immediate plan yeah. isn't it long-term plans really are we're not we just take them to see how it goes yeah and this year Relax we have got new stuff as it's as we again going back he's got some new jeans on some tyrians which we have got in both ladies and men's versions that will be coming out we've got some we've got something else for ladies which is we can't say what it is, but it will be. It is, a, it is, a, it is, a, it is a garment. Who's going for an exclusive? <laughs> yeah, well, it is a lower garment, but we can't say it at the moment. But it, that will be uh, super exciting when that actually comes out. And that hopefully isn't too long. It has taken us a long time to get there, over a year at the moment. Right. But we are virtually on the last knocking. So hopefully in the next couple of months, we can come back to you. And maybe you will get the exclusive. Uh, the exclusive and we can say, look, this is what we've, this is what we've got. And so also, we, we want to do a lot more testing ourselves as well. So we did when we did our cargoes and our Munro shirt. We, we went to Italy and we did the Alpina Rally. Alpina Rally. Right. So that's basically from that's, that's sea from, level to 10,000 yeah, 10, feet around. We started in the sun and ended up in the snow. Yeah, it was 32 degrees at the base, yeah, snow fun. and ice at the top, 10,000 foot mountain, and it's the only one, of, it's the highest point in Europe that you can take Italy, a motorized vehicle Italy, Italy. Italy wow you know and uh, loads of people go for this weekend and it, you're the tracks as wide as a 4x4 four four, yeah. and you're going up it's when they say it's a rally it's a rally it's not of a your race. own making it's not a race right yeah? but a loads journey. and like, hundreds and hundreds of people if not thousands it's of people you do. go I've there done. It's brilliant and fun. and you are literally it's as wide as a 4x4 four four, and you are going up as well as they are coming down and you've got four by fours, sidecars, motorbikes, wow. all vying to get up this mountain. Wow. Uh, or come down the mountain. And quite a lot so of when they're coming falling towards off in you, the corners, eh? Yeah, yeah. When they're coming towards you, you've got to try and figure out, you don't want to go that way because it's a sheer drop. So you've got to try and figure out how can we get around here so he doesn't go ro rolling off the edge and I don't go rolling off the edge. So and yeah, as he did. says, yeah, I came off, triumph lent us some bikes which was really kind of them to do this so we um we had to, as he said we were we we the reason we did it was to test both the cargoes and our munro shirts uh, effectively we did take the and off the back we did make changes as well yeah because um, we realized but, when you go um, from monic street to another but they were, wise, you need to make some changes but they were yeah but overall you know we drove from milan to bardonecchia which is 300 kilometers and then, then we spent two days at Bardonecchia going up and down this mountain. Yeah. And yeah, we fell off. I fell off. It. I, f I fell off on the mountain on both days, on both I fell sides, off the and, broke, station. and broke various bits of the bike. 
and he fell off in a petrol station. I mean, come on, at least they've got credibility, you know. I mean, falling off in a petrol station, yeah. you know. So, yeah, and yeah. The, and the, the biggest thing was, it was so dusty. Everything we wore ended up, like, grey, because we were beaten out like washerwomen on the on the railings of the hotel that we were in, yeah. because it was just so dusty, wow. you know. But it was good fun. We and want to do more of that, don't we? Yeah. We want to do more of that this year, more we testing do. and stuff. So uh, we've got we a few do. ideas. We have got some ideas. We've got lots of some stuff, even some stuff we tried the other day. Which which will work and it gives that sort of shock factor of like blimey, do they do that as well? Right, and it, you know that's coming as well. I can't say any more on that, but it is coming. So maybe oh, you'll get an exclusive little, on that. I know yeah, little taking it away again, just throwing no, them no, in and it's pulling exciting. them back. We've got a lot. Yeah, we've got new products coming out all the time. But like I say we're only a little company, aren't we? At the end of the day. Yeah. So it takes time, money, and it does. It does. You know, but together. it's all moving in the right direction, which is um, great. Before we finish, and we are nearly at the finish. Uh, you'll bored. probably be pleased to hear yeah. um, <laughs> I think Jez will be more pleased <laughs> uh, number one I'd like to put your link to your website in the description of the yep. video so if any, anybody has listened to this point yep, cool. um, hopefully your link will be well, you'll know, <laughs> definitely <laughs> your link will be in the description cool. and, and finally because uh, I have run out of questions is to say thanks ever so much for your time hey, it's, been, it's been a hoot it has thank you and it was you know because we were talking about this because it was at the uh, MCL wasn't it it was at Excel in London it was Excel, Excel, right, yeah. okay, because yeah. well, I was like, I can't remember whether it was Excel or MCL, but I do yeah. remember talking to you, obviously, because yeah, yeah. I was I'm like, sure oh, yeah, I, told, I, told Mert, I told Mert to come and see us, blah, 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 I can't forget you, Mert, you're tall, yeah. you know, we don't get that many tall people, which is why when you said about the jeans, 36, you probably are a 36, yeah. because yeah. it's about six foot two, if you're six foot two, you'll probably fit our 34s, right. six foot's our 32s. And five well, when we're in Holland, Mark, when, when we're in Holland, five, yeah, so. six five. Yeah, you when we're in Holland, though, most of the Dutch guys are around your height, right? And we didn't have a problem with, with legs. There was only well, one guy who was maybe six, Mark can six make that decision. Nine. Yeah, well, I'm, 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 I'm holding, I'm I'm holding back on that one because I'm reserving judgment because right. I think I know what we'll it's up there. Cheers, Brilliant. guys. Thank you, Mark. Thanks for pleasure. Absolutely. Let's try on some bits and pieces. Yeah, yeah. Hoodies, and these are our Munro shirts. So the Munro shirt is a dry weather shirt. Basically, as, a, as we said to you upstairs, that's what we uh, used uh, when we were in Italy. Right. Basically, so this is a double A rated shirt. Yeah. It's uh, heavy cotton outer with full lining of Kevlar on the inside. Yep. And obviously, it's got the uh, sort of uh, the sheer liner as well within that. So put your armor in. They all come with mm -hmm. back armor, shoulder, and elbow armor as standard. Yep. They got air vents here. So you've got an air vent on that side, air vent on that side, oh, wow. and then a huge air Exhaust vent on the back here, vent so you back. can get the circulation flowing through, so you don't basically overheat. That's what that's Brilliant. all for, and it does the job. Trust me. Okay. So, you know, we've done thirty, we've done it in thirty-two degrees, and it was fantastic. Yeah. And all we had was a t-shirt on underneath, and then this is our armored hoodie. Now this is a double A rated armoured hoodie. Yeah. Um, this is a of a, it's a material is actually called Maximite, which is a material specific to us. Basically, it's a double A abrasion resistant material. It's a sort of a, it was well, I suppose a polyester -y type. It's not polyester, but it's that type of material. Okay. As such, um, uh, it's man, slash man made. Proof, man made, yeah. Slash yeah. proof, stab proof, waterproof. It's got a hypora lining, which is that silver lining you see there. I don't know if you can quite see that. See, there's a reflective lining underneath. Yep. Yeah, so that's the hypora lining, which is 100% waterproof. However, a lot of people say, oh, it's waterproof. Oh, that's great. Oh, I'll wear it. If you're going to go out and it's raining now and you're going to go out for three hours, don't wear this jacket. Right. If you go out now and you get caught in a shower, no problem at all. Yeah, right. because this isn't a, isn't a, 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 a Gore-Tex or a textile, um, you know, that is 100% touring textiles yep. it is your jacket to go out with to and if you get caught in somewhere no great shakes hoods totally detachable so it just looks like a normal jacket yeah comes with again back armor shoulder and elbow armor loop at the back to go through your belt loop there okay and that basically means it doesn't ride up at the back yep um yeah and that's as, as we said downstairs as we said upstairs even we have got a ladies version of this coming out uh, or a ladies version of, it, of an armoured hoodie yeah. and whether it's um, going to be this type of material it's going to be a different material I don't know but we are virtually there so that's where that goes yep. uh, over here okay we'll be got, over here over here we've got the uh, Tyrannus Elite uh, which are these ones here 
So this is the translate. That's what you've got on now. Yeah. Um, basically, this is a AAA single layer jean. So basically, that has um, the sheer liner in it. Which got okay. And, with and then the... these are the pockets. Yep. Where you've got one out yeah, outer pocket and one inner pocket. So oh, depending I see. on how you ride. The glamorous assistant just handed you. Oh yeah. To, uh... So yeah. So basically, depending on how you ride. That goes in the top there. So if you're cruiser, sports bike, whatever, you'll determine where that armor needs to sit. Yep. And then here is the hip armor pocket. And again, that's the hip armor. And that just goes in like that. And that means your hips are protected. All the armor is level two. So all the armor we use throughout, we haven't got anything else. It's all level two armor, yep. basically. Um, Here's a uh, daft question for you, and you may have already covered this. Yep. What level does your armor? What level does armor go up to? One and two. That's so it. So yours is the top. Ours is the top. Yeah. Right. So you cool. get a triple A jean yep. with the top armor. As Ian mentioned upstairs, sometimes you do get manufacturers that will give you a triple A jean with level one armor. Why we can never fathom that out because yep. it's pennies in cost for the difference. So why they would do that, I don't know. Yep. But that's not the way we operate. So you can get these in blue or black. And you get ladies' version as well, blue or black. Yep. Uh, then we've got these, which are the Paranoid Xs. This is which... like speed dating. I know. <laughs> <laughs> speed, speed textiles, here we go. <laughs> so these are Paranoid X. The outer is exactly the same as the uh, um, uh, Tyrannus Elite. Yep. So you've already got a AAA rated gene here. Yep. And then what we've done is to make it super strong and warm. Designed in Ireland, to be sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> absolutely. So, is we've got another full lining of black Kevlar. Okay. Wow. And then, obviously, you've got the two pockets in the in the in yeah. the uh, in the uh, knee there again, and you've got the hip armor there. So, as I said upstairs, this is for really cold weather riding. Yeah. Nordic countries. I will go with my standard Scottish summer jokes, um, but it does. <laughs> this is what they're there for. And again, they all come with the level two armor. Um, these we mentioned are the cargoes. So these are double A. Oh, okay. okay. Now we've nice. done these with a limited size to start with. Right. So our th sizing on these three was what? Was it 30 to 30, 40 or 32 30, to 42? 32 to 42. 32 to 42 with two, leg or regular yeah, with two leg lengths, which is a short or regular. That size range is being expanded. Right. So basically it will we'll encompass more on a smaller side and more on a larger side. And we are, I believe, getting a longer leg as well, a 34 leg. Yeah. Um, but again, these are double A rated. But so you've got the heavy cotton outer. They are cargoes, so they're a bit more baggy, which is what you'd expect from cargoes. Yep. You've got the pockets on the side of your leg here, which effectively is there. Yep. And then you've got two pockets at the front, two pockets at the back. Um, and then if you pull them out like that, sheer lining again, full lining of Kevlar on the wow. inside. Okay, so yep. that is those on some of our garments. And what I can now verify is that uh, don't be put off by the leg length. Because Absolutely, I, I, I have always said that I'm a 36 weight and a 36 <laughs> leg, and we'll, we'll put some shots in later yeah, on. But yeah, I'm now no, wearing a pair of your jeans, and they fit. Yeah, and they are 34, which is which is why upstairs yeah. I said, yeah. oh well, that's, you just them. discounted yourself, haven't you? Because yeah. our 36, I don't fit into those. Yeah. So so that's brilliant. And then ladies wise, as I said, we got the ladies. Tyrannus in blue or black, so they're styled for ladies. So yep. they're not the men's just with a lady's number on them. Right. And then we've got these ladies. Which is important. Yeah, exactly. Well, they're very know, petite. You'd be surprised. Yeah. Well, these, according to Alison Silcox, Ali Silcox, yeah. Right. She's tried these. Yeah. There you go. Our Silcox. She's tried these, and there is something in here she loves because it does away with. Oh, here you go. I find nothing beats an elasticated waist to hide an ever-increasing muffin top. So that says it all. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> so to me, the, the glory of these are the fact that they are totally elasticated. There is so much give in these right. that they are they they will fit a majority of female form. Yeah, basically. Brilliant. They are a double A rated uh, garment. Again, you've got the, the cotton elasticated outer. And then you've got the full lining of Kevlar on the inside, pockets in the knee and pockets in the hip. 
Right. Okay, and uh, you've got stirrups on these as well, so right. that for Stop the ladies, yeah, exactly, they just go underneath the heel. Some ladies yep. have them underneath the heel inside the boot. Some ladies, if they've got a heel on the boot, put them underneath the heel of oh, the okay. boot, so so they can wear them outside of the boot as opposed to inside of the boot. Right. But very very popular, and going to what we were talking about with the zip. Um, these have got the uh, ability to zip to a jacket. Yeah. Now, if the lady's got her own jacket, you just unzip that and basically sew that in. If yeah. it's a normal jacket, these are all universal. So it's a universal zip, so it should work. Yeah. Because um, the older style jackets, from what I've learned, the older style jackets have the smaller, finer tooth. Yeah. But yeah. the newer ones, like have you said, universal are zip like that. Yeah. just what you said. Um, yeah. We were talking about connectors. So from the, to connect your jeans yes. to your jacket. Now, yeah. the only jacket that you can use this on at the moment, or shirt, is our Munro. But this is the connector. So effectively, that goes around your belt. So your belt oh, feeds see. in oh, here, okay. feeds in there, feeds in there, feeds in there. Yeah. And it will end up sitting like that. And right. then you can basically put your Munro shirt on, zip it to it, and then you'll have no pull, right. basically. Yeah. That will come on the armoured hoodies. It's not there at the moment. Right. But it, the armoured hoodies work with that belt loop. Now, that loop that I told you that it just goes yep. through there and that stops it from riding up. Right. But, um, yeah, this, again, is something that will come universal throughout our range because it just makes life easier. Yeah. Yeah. This is the Aladdin's Cave. There's some deliveries going out. There's uh, These are all now t-shirts and hoodies up this side um more jeans at the back end stock at the back end and then yeah we do stuff here we do stuff for davidson legacy that was another thing that people don't know we work with davidson legacy group that basically we support them because there's a scott there's a there's a cottage in um uh, angus where which was the original homestead for the Davidson family. So okay. it's the Davidson part of Harley Davidson. Oh, okay. And basically they're trying to save the cottage, um, which is a great piece of cultural history. Yeah. Um, and they left in 1856, I think they did. Um, and basically the cottage is as it was. So you're trying to say Harley Davidson's is actually a Scottish brand? Yeah, well, actually, you know, yeah. Actually, <laughs> it's, a bit, yeah. it's a bit like Ford is Irish. Yeah, well, precisely, precisely. <laughs> now, glove-wise, I know you mentioned upstairs, we, we do gloves as well. We've got two types of gloves. This is our winter glove. This is new to the market. Oh, okay. Um, um, this is, uh, it's got, so it's leather. Uh, you've got a little bit of... Um, Hard knuckle protection, scaphoid protection there. It's 100% waterproof. Um, got a few little logos, embellishments there. But it's a very, very nice glove. It's yeah. an easy glove to wear. It's not bulky uh, like some gauntlets are. You've got a little visor wipe there. Um, and then this complements, obviously, it's a, this is sold well, but yeah. we've only really had it out in the market for the last month realistically but it has sold very well for the time we've had it there yeah. and again the only reason we introduced this because people kept asking because we give we've got our summer gloves which i'll show you around the corner cool. these are our, this is our standard summer glove it's a easy rider glove it's a leather with maximite hard knuckle protection kevlar on the palm for scaphoid protection right okay so if you do happen to put your hand yeah, out the kevlar will allow a slide yeah. which is what you want instead of a snap yeah okay um again you know for the price these are very good value. They're only 50 quid. Not that I want to talk prices, but everyone says, I don't know how you can do that. For, for this kind of glove, I don't know how you can do it so cheaply. It's because it goes back to our mantra of giving you the best we possibly can at the best price. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's it. And these were the other gloves that Ian was talking about upstairs, the right. different colored gloves. Again, so we did. We only trialed these. Yeah. And these, from, from, a, from a, a, a focus group, which is what we did, these were the colours that came out, and even we were like, oh, okay, that's interesting. However, when we put these out to the market at the various shows we've been to, we couldn't get enough of them. Couldn't make enough of them. Really? Honestly, these were so... I, I, they sold me, really well. We were the same. We were like, wow. And they sold really well because people, as much as they like black, they like the alternatives. Okay. And, and you know, so, so yeah. So, to us, we were the same. We yeah. were like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. And obviously, you listen to what people say. It wasn't just one focus group. It's a variety of focus groups yeah. coming back with, this is a selection you've got to choose from. Which ones would you choose? Yeah. And it was like, oh, and, and they, these were the two colours that came out, the more preferable out of all the options that people had. So, we we done a sample batch as such in the unlimited run, and we couldn't make enough of them. Brilliant. You know? 
So, um, so yeah, so. If you've liked this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't liked this video for any particular reason whatsoever, please feel free to leave a thumbs down. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below, and I shall see you in the next one. Until next time, people, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.